First up, we're in Longview, Washington for an arraignment. 38-year-old Christopher Belvoir has been charged with resisting arrest and disorderly conduct. Several hours earlier, Belvoir was arrested for wandering around a YMCA at 4 o'clock in the morning. Police were called to the scene, and after the defendant failed to cooperate, he was arrested. At the time, Belvoir was free on a personal recognizance bond for assault and other charges. His bust at the Y was a violation of his bond conditions. Today, he appears remotely before Judge Edward Putka. And right off the bat, things get off to a rocky start. There are two charges here, resisting arrest and disorderly conduct. Uh, hey, hey, can I tell you something, sir? I, I, just, just a minute. I didn't do either one of those f***ing things, sir. Okay. So you just charge it your officers is f***ing outrageous. Mr. Belvoir, if you, keep talk, if you keep talking like that, I'm going to send you in the back, no bail, and we're going to come back to you tomorrow. All I was doing was trespassing at YMCA. Mr. Belvoir, one more time, you use an obscenity in this courtroom, and I'm going to put you in the back. You're not going to get out of jail. Just I listen. Want my lawyer, hey, I want my lawyer present right now. OK, just listen. Hey, my I'm, I'm not going to listen to you with a bunch of fake charges. OK, just take it easy. OK, calm down. Okay, go ahead. Read out the fake charges, sir. All right, so the charges are resisting arrest and disorderly conduct. They're yeah. both lies. OK. The maximum penalty for this is 90 days in jail and fines and costs of $2,050. Do you understand what you're charging? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. The judge goes on to explain the defendant's rights before turning to defense attorney Oleg Balaban. I find probable cause for the charges. Do you want to enter not guilty, please, on his behalf and Mr. Balaban? Yes, Your Honor. I said not guilty. Uh, plead not guilty. Judge Putka asked the state for its bond recommendation. Uh, the city is recommending $1,000 bail. The problem is he's got other pending cases between July and today, and he was re presumably released on recognizance on those cases on condition that he stay out of trouble. $1,000 bail in your court and your system is f***ing kangaroo court. You shoot my language. The judge remains calm as the defendant continues to argue. Sir, look, I'd like to change judges or whatever the hell. This guy is biased against me. And if you guys keep me in jail for something I did not do, the police assaulted me after I was walking away peacefully. You want to talk about bail? Mr. Balma? Yes, Your Honor. I just suggest we set for a pretrial at this point. All right, I'm going to set the pretrial on October 6th at 10 a.m. Mr. Belvoir, your behavior convinces me that you need to stay in jail. You, uh, you just... Sure, sir, I would like to make you not my judge and my, oh, my behavior in court. Guess what? See, I got my ass put by your little bitch-ass officer. The bail is $2,000 $2, cash. $2,000. You're not giving me any bail. After setting the bond at $2,000, Judge Putka sets a date for a pretrial hearing. October 6th. That's oh, all. Listen to me. I have the right to change my f***ing judge. You guys hold me in jail. You have to make sure, Yeah, this is the officer right here that's like that f***ing hurt me. Belvoir failed to post bond and eventually pled guilty to all charges, including his earlier assault charge. He was sentenced to a total of 24 days in jail. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.